Following the violence over the weekend, that has seen two people killed and more than a dozen injured after clashes between Sunni and Shiite gunmen in Lebanon. Following the funeral of Brigadier General Wissam al-Hassan, a prominent investigator and anti-Assad campaigner who was killed by a car bomb in a busy street in rush hour on Friday in Lebanon, anti-government protesters called on the Prime Minister Najib Mikati to resign and stop the country sliding into chaos. Mikati had expressed his willingness to quit, but is reported to have stayed on following a request from the President Michel Suleiman. He said, despite my insistence on not hanging on to my position, the president has asked me to give him some time to hold national talks. So I am suspending my decision until I receive a response from the president, but I insist that I am not holding on to my position as prime minister. I'm also aware that this situation calls upon us to take a national stance. In response to the death of the Brigadier Al Hassan, a US spokeswoman said in a statement that the Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has confirmed her country's firm commitment to Lebanon's stability, independence, sovereignty and security, and to the Lebanese Prime Minister Najib Mikati. I'm Ann Salter, thanks for watching. For the latest news on this story, go to our website at ibtimes.co.uk.